try to solve two three more questions on this topic and then we'll conclude this uh, specific topic uh, or chapter now uh, let's take the most trivial question that appears and there's one glitch in that uh, you know which you know, which will i'll try to address which you know that's a common mistake which a number of students make so i'll, I'll try to address that mistake uh, let's say uh, there's a person x or let's name the person why should i be call him x uh, let's say let's say there is a uh, you know uh, there is a person uh, amit and amit starts walking towards south now this is amit's original position and amit starts walking towards south and amit walks 5 meter towards south then the question says amit or let, let me just pen it down first 5 meter towards south then amit takes a left turn and goes 3 meter then takes a right turn goes 5 meter and then again takes a left turn goes 4 meter so tell the distance from the original point now let's draw now so let's say Amit is starting from here and Amit goes 5 meter towards the south so this is original position of Amit O and this is 5 meter towards the south let's say this is 5 meter so Amit went this much towards the south. Now one mistake students make. Amit takes a left turn and goes 3 meter. Maximum students, you know, when they, when, you know, they are not very experienced in these questions, the most common mistake they make is they assume in their mind that anybody taking a left turn will go in which direction? Obviously anybody taking a left direction will go in this direction. And the moment you do that, your question goes wrong. Now, just think from Amit's point of view. Amit is walking from O towards this point. Now, Amit will not be walking like that. Amit will not be walking backwards. Amit will be walking, you know, if, if Amit is walking from O to southwards, Amit's face will also be towards south. So, Amit is walking in a way that his face is in, in this direction. Then, assume Amit and think that in which direction his left hand will be. If Amit is walking in this direction, his face is in this direction, then his left will be in this direction. So Amit will take a leftward turn, turn in this side. Then, then it's easy. Then he goes for 3 meter. Now again Amit takes a right turn. So now Amit's face will be in this direction. This is a basic assumption that whichever direction a person is walking in, the face is generally, face is always in that direction. Unless they have told that the person is walking backwards. They never tell that. So the point is, whichever direction the person is walking in, the face will always be in, the, in that direction only. So now Amit is walking in this direction in th for 3 meter. He takes a right turn. So he goes like this again. Right turn. Again goes for 5 meter. Right. And now again takes a left turn. Left turn means again in this direction. Like this. And again goes for 4, this time he goes for 4 meter. So you are supposed to tell the distance. Distance we can calculate. This total distance is how much? 5 plus 5. This, this specific distance will be 10 meter. Right? And what will be this distance? This will be 3 meter plus 4 meter. That is 7 meter. So this distance we can calculate very easily. So O and let's call it F, the final distance. OF will be square root of 10 square plus 7 square that means square root of 149 so please calculate whatever this comes this will be 12 point something meter so you can calculate this right it's not a big deal it's not a big question but this aspect of turning and the you know the conditioning of left and right with respect to a specific walking individual is something you need to keep in mind whenever you are solving these questions now uh, the next question now, the next question we were trying to do is slightly complicated in, you know, to, for me to memorize. So I, so, I have written that here. You can have a look. I have written that in code. So, I'll read that. The question says, Y is to the east of X. There are some people, X, Y, Z or something. Yeah, X, Y, Z. Three people are there and P. Four people are there. X, Y, Z and P. So, the question says, Y is to the east of X, which is in the north of Z. P is to the south of Z. What is P's direction with respect to Y? Sounds really complicated. It and it is not. It is really, really easy, trust me. 
the best thing for these questions is the moment you see them start drawing them the moment you see them start drawing them if you try to read and try to understand too much you will fail you will get the question wrong never ever even think just start drawing y is to the east of x so let's start with x only let's say this gentleman is x right now y is to the east of x so again always draw an east west north south let's start with this so let's say this is x here it is x and y is to the east of x so this will be y for sure which is in the north of z y is to the east of ax which is to the north of z that means these two x and y will be somewhere in the north of z so z will fall where z will fall somewhere let's say here z will be here p is to the south of z and where will p be p will be further south of z p so what is the p's direction with respect to y so if you are watching from y what is p what is p's direction now whenever you are supposed to find something's reaction with respect to other thing with respect to means the arrow will start from that so it is with respect to y that means the arrow will start from y and go towards p now the best way for this is you, know, you start doing like this or you shift the origin to that place you know you shift your focus to that place that means let's keep the whole diagram like this only x y like this you know and uh, this is let's say z uh, uh, sorry this is uh, okay this is z and this is p and this is my original point now i have to find this direction and now i know this is north this is south this is east and this is west so which direction it is this direction is southwest that is my answer as simple as that this is my answer easier very very easy you can do that anybody can do that so these questions have to be tackled in this manner only so the point is again you know always whenever you read a question start plotting that right away at that point and once you are done plotting the point is with respect to a direction of a point with respect to whichever point is asked that point you know from that point the arrow should start had you started the arrow from p this is a mistake students commit the mistake is they say oh this is now here so this direction we have to find no you are not supposed to find this direction you are supposed to find this direction which goes from y to p not from p to y that will be exact opposite that will be north northeast but the answer is southwest so please be mindful of this fact now let's try doing one last question of this chapter which will again be very simple and we will quickly try to solve that and then we'll conclude this chapter let's say the question says that there is a man who is facing north west direction so again first step always draw the direction chart no never ever start without that it's as simple as that so i'm sorry for this tilted line i will quickly try to rub it off a little and draw a better one now let's start with the one last question of this chapter and uh, that will also be a very easy one because there are hardly any tough questions in this chapter so now let's say there is a man who is standing or who is facing the north west direction so whenever you get a question and you see sense of direction always make the direction chart if you don't do that the chances of going wrong is very high so the man is facing north west this direction the man is facing this is north south east and west this direction the man is facing now the question says that the man turns 90 degree clockwise now that's the point we need to think about the man turns 90 degrees clockwise now clockwise we all know is like this so he turns 90 degree clockwise so his position becomes this so from north west he starts seeing north east right after that the man turns 180 degree anti clockwise so 180 degree anti clockwise means 180 degree means direction absolutely opposite and one thing we need to notice 180 degree such a angle that if it is moved clockwise or anti clockwise will mean the same thing right how let's say i'm standing here right now if i move 180 degree clockwise i will end up here like this and if i move 180 degree anti clockwise i will again end up there so that doesn't matter that doesn't make a difference 
180 degree clockwise or anti clockwise will always be in the same. So, still the question says the person moves 180 degree anti clockwise. Now, anti clockwise is in this direction. So, 180 degree the person moves. So, something like this the person becomes southwest. And after that, he says that the person turns 90 degree in the same direction. That means 90 degree further in the anti clockwise direction. So, 90 degree further in the anti clockwise direction means somewhere here. So, tell the final direction. Very easy. Southeast. See how easy these questions are. These questions, if you are plotting a diagram together, if you are plotting a diagram as soon as you end up reading the question or you actually not end up, as soon as you start reading the question, start plotting a diagram. If you are doing this, there is no way you can go wrong in this question or you know in this uh, in this in this chapter so uh, with this we come to the conclusion of this chapter of direction and distance in some of the exams some questions on this definitely come in the mathematics part as well if you are doing the you know height and distance chapters in those as well sometimes you know they mix the questions in such a way that the that the concept of direction and distance is also used so please, you know, remember this part. There are some very basic concepts in this. If you memorize those concepts, if you practice those concepts, this, this chapter will yield a, you know, absolutely 100% result. There is no way you can get a question wrong. If you just follow some basic advices, remember the basic theory which I have given to you in the beginning of the chapter and always draw the direction diagram in every single question from the very beginning. If you do that, there is no way you are going to lose even a single mark in this chapter. So with that, we conclude this chapter of direction and distance.